Okay, for the second video on the channel, I'm going to be playing some Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I want to help you guys get a good start to the game, get some guns, armor, and even show you a cool way to make some cash. So right after you beat the first mission, you're going to end up here at the Johnson house. We're in here at the cul-de-sac, as you can see. We're right out front of the house. What you're going to want to do is go back this way behind this house here. Run past the palm tree. And right in the back corner you're going to find the pistol. Now take your newfound pistol and follow this fence line all the way back. Now you're going to jump over this car here and there's going to be an opening. Go ahead take the opening and go down and you'll find the Uzi. So turn around, run down this little slant here, keep running till you make it to this bridge, look underneath, and you're going to find body armor. We'll pick that up. Okay, so now that we got that armor, we're going to run up this hill here. We're going to go back through the opening we came through. This is going to go around the other side of this blue house. And what we're going to do is jump up onto that ledge. It might take a couple tries. Alright, there it is. And climb up. And we're going to get to that ledge over there. Just jump across. Once you make it up here, you're going to find the Tech 9. You can swap it out with your Uzis and you gain a little more ammo. And just jump off. Alright, now that we have some guns, I'll show you an easy way to make some cash. Alright, for some quick, easy cash, you want to keep an eye out for these guys. They're going to be standing around still a lot with their hands crossed like that. Go ahead and blast them away. And normally they drop about a $1,000. And uh, some ammo for your pistol. So it's a win-win. I do want to mention real quick that these guys aren't normally dressed all alike. So just keep an eye out for them crossing their hands and standing still. Blast them away. Pick up your money. And get out of there. Okay, for this next spot we're going to be getting the AK-47. You want to look out for this burger joint right here. It's going to be right behind this building next to it. What you're going to do is just pull up, go around the back of this building here, and there it is. See, even on the mini map, you can see the burger place. And for this next spot, we're going to be finding the sawn off shotgun and a little more ammo for our AK-47. Okay, so this next location isn't far at all from where we just were. It's at this filming location. Southwest from the burger place we were just at. And you're going to see Cluck and Bell right there. You're going to want to go on the eastern side entrance. Zoom out so you can get a reference of where it's at. Okay, go ahead and head inside, go to the back right corner, and this last filming location in here. We're going to get a little more ammo for our AK-47. So it looks like we have 60 bullets, now we have 120, and time to go grab that sawed off shotgun. It's actually right here in the same exact spot. Go ahead and pick it up. Okay, one last thing I'd like to mention is that after you've gone and collected those weapons and came back to the house, everything that we picked up earlier will have respawned. So go ahead and collect them again if you need more ammo or armor, and you can repeat this as many times as you'd like.
Okay, you should have the pistol, the Uzi, AK-47, and shotgun, and armor to start the game with. Now get out there and take back Grove Street. Or not. <laughs> 